Tom Brady told me it was a few years ago, if he had gone in the first round, he'd probably be out of the league. That he yeah. he sort of needed to absorb a system. Mm-hmm. And, you know, it, it just worked out. Yeah, the injury to Drew Bledsoe. Looking back, do you remember what you even thought of Brady? And do, yeah. do you believe yeah. that if he had gone in the first round, he would have he would have uh, been out of the league by now? Well, what Tom said, I think a lot of quarterbacks have echoed those same sentiments. What if Dan Marino, instead of going to Miami, would have gone to the Detroit Lions and say pick 13, whatever it was that year, or in a little earlier in the draft, where Todd Blackledge went to Kansas City? Who knows what would have happened? You know, as we always say, Dan, history would have been rewritten if certain things didn't fall into place. You know, if uh, you know Drew Brees uh, say goes to Miami instead of Dante Culpepper, Nick Saban's never coaching Alabama, and they don't win all these championships. He, he stays at Miami because they're winning with Drew Brees more than likely. So all these things affect history. There's no question about that, Dan. But I think for Tom Brady, when you go back, and I looked at his write-up because I wrote him up, I talked about him on draft day, uh, he had all the components from a passing standpoint and a competitive standpoint. He just had the 5-2-4, which was the slowest 40 time of any quarterback I've ever written up, and the worst vertical at 24 and a half inches of any quarterback I had written up. So, again, measurables for quarterbacks mean nothing. We know that, Dan, and it proved out with Tom Brady. He's the test case for that. One of the best, best ever had 5-2-4, 5-2-8, a, four, a 24 and a half vertical. So forget about verticals and 40s for quarterbacks. They don't matter. But for Brady, he needed to go to a team that could protect him. He, and then he, he slips and slides in the pocket as well as anybody. But he had the right situation. And I think you could say that about a lot of quarterbacks. Boomer Esiason going in the second round. He was like, disappointed that three first round picks went ahead of him, went in the second round, and it worked out well in Cincinnati for him. So again, you can't change history, but in some cases, the way things fell looked bad on draft day, but ultimately were great for the player who dropped. For more Dan Pat- Patrick Show. Tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV or download the Dan Patrick Show app.